Hi there. One of the most frequent questions I get from first time home buyers and even experienced home buyers is what money do I need to buy a house in Tallahassee? Hi there, my name is Abby Flynn. I'm a broker associate with Ketchum Realty Group and today I wanna to talk to you about how much money you need to buy a house in Tallahassee. So let's talk about, it's like kind of three pots of money, but really this one can be used for this one if you trust your real estate agents. Let's go through them really quickly. The first pot of money you're gonna need, it's usually the biggest, is your loan down payment. Most loans have a down payment. The most common is the FHA. It's three and a half percent. It's really common for first time home buyers. Um, fairly easier to get than some of the other loans that we have to cover. Um, the conventional requires 3%. You do have to have a credit score and really good credit history in order to qualify for a conventional. If you do qualify, usually the rates are more generous to the purchaser or the buyer in this case. The other last two do not require a down payment. That's Those are the USDA loans. Those loans can be used outside of the Capital Circle area of Tallahassee and Leon County. They can be used in most of the outlying counties in a great majority of the homes that are available like Jefferson, Gadsden, Wakulla, Liberty. Um, those are 0% down payment. Those are really cool. And the last one I'm going to talk about, only veterans qualify, but those are the VA loans. The one requirement for the VA loans is that you have a clear WDO. In our case, that's what we call a termite report. So sometimes sellers don't like that. Sometimes sellers get their house ready and they don't mind. So those are the most common financing. There's hard money financing. There's all kinds of creative financing that we can get. If you're looking for something like that, call me because it's kind of a special request. Second pot of money I want to talk about is your earnest money deposit. You'll call, hear it called the binder or the binder deposit. This is the money that goes along with the contract. It's held by a neutral third party that generally you as the buyer are going to get to pick. A lot of times in our area, we close with a title company um, and then half the time we close with a law firm. Um, one of the biggest closers that we have in Tallahassee is Smith Thompson Shaw. They are a law firm that is also a title company. They hold on to that money. And as long as you follow that contract buyer, that money is yours. The only time I've seen people lose it in the eight years I've been doing this is when they have lied to their loan officer. Um, this is the buyer's money. This can be any amount. This is one of those things that's often negotiated on purchase agreements. Generally, if you offer 2% offer with your purchase agreement, the buyer, the seller will accept that. That's pretty common. The last thing you need to budget for, closing cost. Even if you have one of these 0% down loans, you are still gonna have closing costs. And closing costs are the loan cost. There's like origination fees and there's advance fees for interest rates that you have to pay. Sometimes your homeowner's policy, those kind of things you, you will have to pay at closing. So that all includes those items that it takes to purchase your house and then transfer the ownership from the seller to you. That is generally somewhere between three and 5% of the loan cost. The higher the loan that you take out, the lower that cost should be generally. Um, this sometimes is covered by the buyer, by the seller in, especially when you have first time home buyers, um, they often will ask the seller to cover some of their closing costs. Very common in our area still. It's less common in this competitive duke it out multiple offer situation, but it's always something that you can ask. You can offer more, there's ways to sweeten that deal. So if you're considering buying in the Tallahassee area, call me, we're happy to help you.